the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Rise SMP today. We are going to be starting some major moves actually and uh, I've been planning on doing this for a while just haven't really had the time or the motivation to do it but in order for me to keep on expanding uh, my base I need to I need to move the villagers. I need to move my prisoners. I love to call them my little prisoners because they are my prisoners. And um, basically what we got to do today is we need to set up a pen, uh, like just a, a new village, sort of, like a emulated village uh, to the side of my base. And I kind of want to torch up this entire area so there's no mobs spawning here um, around around the villagers and around all of this stuff here. So I kind of want need to block off or I need to light up this entire area just to try to try to ensure that none of the mobs like spawn here and try to kill all of my villagers at once so we're gonna try to block off as much as we ca uh, can't even talk as much as we can and I kinda wanna have the little villager village around like this area right here so I might actually cut through um, my plans were to kind of cut through this uh, small hill right here and kind of just make a nice little village for them and then I was actually just gonna fully block it off with um, with stone bricks just so that uh, nothing could actually get inside it and uh, that it would be safe uh, for the villagers so then they wouldn't obviously get attacked by mobs so I'm, I'm kind of doing like the big moves right now I'm, I'm finally off of school guys thank Jesus oh my gosh if that was a ravine I would have died oh my gosh I need to cover up this ravine that's dangerous oh my god these things have like a hundred percent accuracy they hit a bow shot more than I do Jeez. All right. Anyways, so yeah, I'm going to light up this entire area and then we're going to go ahead and kind of build this um build this entire I I don't know if I'm going to make like a block and uh, I'm not sure if I'm actually doing this correctly, but somebody in the comment section in the last one uh, told me that I was not getting enough breeder spawns or my my farm wouldn't get uh, exceeded because the space for it was too small. And I was thinking about that a little bit and I was like, he's probably right. And um, what, what that means is I need to actually uh, expand how much room they have. And I guess, I guess there's like some sort of algorithm that kind of tells the villagers not to breed anymore if there's too many of them in a certain area. So we're going to go ahead and try to fix that. Oh my gosh, this skeleton is just wailing on me. Oh, there's two of them. That's why. They're just teaming up. Look at this. They've got them both skills. All right, so let's try. We're going to try to torch up as much of it as we can, obviously. Just, I mean, enough of a distance away from here to kind of try to stop all these spawns. But it's going to be almost impossible to stop all the spawns 100%. But we'll try our best. Try our best to get all these uh, spawns taken care of so none of the mobs spawn on here exactly. And I've been expanding my farms, as you guys can see. I think I mentioned it. I, I showed you all of my updates in the last video while we did that uh the obsidian or the enchanting table so I'm, I'm really really proud with the way that my my home base is going and my home base is coming along so yeah we're gonna go ahead in the hard part of today's episode I'm not sure if this is gonna be a two-parter because it might actually take a long time to do this uh, but the hard part to this is we're gonna have to transport all the villagers and um, I'm actually gonna start the build process a little bit on camera and then I'll do the rest off because I don't want to show you guys me just building a square um, you know all the time so we're gonna go ahead I forgot to bring dirt I need to grab some dirt to fill in and to level in that land right there and then we'll be good to go so I'm pretty sure uh, for the amount of research that I've done I'm pretty sure that in order to get villagers to spawn all I need is to have like doors and then I need like a roof I guess like a roof over their head and then um, something just something along those lines so if I'm forgetting something and if I forget to add like a specific aspect that will make it so that the the villagers actually start to breed by themselves or whatever make sure you guys leave it in the comment sections below because I'm knowing me I'll probably forget something like a crucial information on something and then um, the villagers will stop to uh, spawn in themselves so if I forgot something guys make sure you guys leave it in the comment sections below I love your guys's feedback for the rise series and it's probably one of my most favorite uh, series to record right now because of it and um, so yeah once again if I forget something vital in villager breeding and if you guys could actually help me a little bit leave it in the comment sections below on exactly what I need to do in order to make my villagers uh, spawn and, and in order to make my villagers continue to breed when I trade them so yeah, we're going to go ahead and fill in this area. I kind of want to have the box of um, 
the box of the new villager holding place to be on this area of land here so i'm going to make them their own personal village basically that is the plan that is kind of what i'm going to go for and uh, i'm not sure exactly how i'm going to do it or if i'm just going to be lazy and uh kind of just put just like you know just like a normal box over here but the, i'm gonna probably end up doing that because i don't know how to build houses i mean i could try but it'll just end up looking bad and then yeah so <laughs> uh we're gonna go ahead and start to i guess lay out the foundations uh for this little block area here and i kind of want to try to make it look good actually so i'm gonna try my best and this is this could actually be the base of our iron ingot farm and I'm not really sure how to make one of those like a villager iron breeding farm yet, but we're going to go ahead and try to do so. And um, I'm not 100% positive that it's going to work, but if it does, then uh, kudos to me, I guess. Um, but we're going to go ahead and I guess make mark off this little area here for the meantime. And then they have so a lot of you guys in the last couple episodes when I was when I was still working on my breeders a lot You guys were telling me that I need to make sure that they have airspace And I made sure that they had airspace in the last one and it finally worked So I'm gonna keep on listening to you guys You guys seem to know what you're doing when it comes to all this redstone stuff So we're gonna go ahead and uh, mine through here I have to make sure I don't hit my chicken pen too My chicken pen is like right over there so fill that up. Uh, let's jump down here. I never even knew there was a cave system down here. What the heck? I might go explore this off of camera later, maybe. Is this even a long cave system? No, it's not. It's just like a little, a little thingamabobber here. So we'll go ahead and block this off. Is this a cave system? It is a cave system. What? How have I not found this? Oh, there's torches here. Never mind. Oh, this, yeah, this is just an attachment to the other cave system that... Um, I already discovered so we're gonna go ahead uh, head back on up head on back up what how do you say that head on back up here yeah head on back up here and then we'll complete our little square our little square of love over here and just to make sure all the villagers have all the proper stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the film right here guys I'm gonna go ahead and build like a box uh, for the villagers to actually get into and um, if you guys are enjoying so far, if you guys are loving my plans, and if you guys have any ideas on exactly how to make uh, this villager breeding cell work properly, leave it a co leave a comment in the comment section below, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and cut, finish off this build, and we will be right back. All right, guys, we're back. I made a little bit of a cube slash rectangle over here, and this is gonna be our villager holding cell. And I actually made some rail carts, and this is gonna be probably the most frustrating part. <laughs> Of this entire thing right here and this is where this is where we're gonna start to uh, kind of uh, take our train tracks and attempt to move all the villagers at once and this is the hardest part and if you guys have watched the previous episodes um, it was a pain in the butt actually to move all these uh, to move all these uh, villagers over here from their villagers from their villages like 2,000 blocks away and uh, it's not it's not easy to move villagers through minecarts and it's actually very very uh, very very frustrating at times and um, we're gonna go ahead and try to do this over here today and if we could do this uh, in one episode, I'm going to be thoroughly impressed at myself because honestly, this is like, this is the part of the video that like frustrates me the most because villagers, like I'm probably going to end up killing like one or two of these villagers. It's going to be really, really annoying. And uh, we're going to go ahead and try to do so. So we're going to need some mine carts, obviously. Let's throw away some of this stuff that we don't need. And I need to make some more mine carts. I don't have any right now. So let's go ahead and grab some of those. Make those in the ingots. And then let's make three. I think three mine carts will do fine. But uh, we're going to try to do this one at a time, actually. So uh, let's see. How am I going to do this efficiently? Hmm. I'm going to break down all these things. If I hit that iron ingot, I forgot that if I hit that iron golem it'll like it'll like freaking kill me like those iron golems are actually really 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 strong so we need to we need to calm down a little bit and try, try to watch where we're hitting stuff but we're gonna try to actually move this guy away and then let's try to get one of these uh i'm gonna break down one of these i'm gonna slowly start to break down these doors so i can maneuver around a little bit easier here if this if this villager stands in front of my hitting sign i'm gonna cry all right, so put a track below them, and then put the minecart. 
Nice. All right. Then I'll have to just connect this to my little system over here. There we go. All right. Now let's try to get this first guy. I gotta push him fast enough so he doesn't suffocate. Uh, nice. All right. So he's gonna. Go, he's on his way. Let's go ahead and get on out of here. Uh, block this off so nothing can uh, spawn. Wow. This is happening a lot faster than I was expecting. What the heck? It's like glitched in there. Go. Oh no, I can't I forgot I can't turn. I can't turn in corners. Alright, push him back out. Alright, you stay there. I need to redo this little portion right here. Um let's just go like this. Oops. Uh put that block back and then like this. And then like this. Perfect. Alright. No, 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 he's going back in the cell. No, no, stop. I pushed him too far. <laughs> no. <laughs> This is what I'm talking about. All this frustration is gonna happen because of because of these villagers. It's such a pain in the butt to work with villagers and to actually move them. So this might take a while. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do all of it. I'll probably do like half of the villagers on camera and then show you guys the end product. But this this it's it's a little bit easier now because it's not too long of a distance that we have to move them. But uh, eventually I might get into some frustrated moments where. I honestly just will not not want to do this anymore. So hopefully, hopefully this works. All right, come on, get in there. Yes. All right, there we go. There's our first villager. Um, I actually want to. I might want to remove. Um, I might want to remove one of these blocks so they can't climb up. Yeah, that'd probably make more sense. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, make our little pillar over here. And then, uh, yeah, that's one villager. Holy crap. That was a lot faster than I expected. I was expecting that to be a lot more difficult. But it eventually, or it looked like, it, it turned out that it wasn't. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, we have uh, eight more villagers to move. And uh, hopefully it all goes well. Oh, that was too easy. They were all just lining up right there. That was too easy. I don't know how I did that so fast. But that was way too easy. This is my farmer villager. So this is the guy that I'm entrusting uh, to uh, feed the rest of my village because I only have one farmer villager right now and I need them to make more farmer villager babies and if they could do that for me I would love them forever yeah we're gonna go ahead and uh, get you in here hopefully I wonder if they take fall damage do they take fall damage let's see they do not all right perfect so that's two that's two right off the bat right there we are we are rolling oh wait let me torch up this inside area before something bad happens here um go ahead and do that and then we're actually i'm actually going to start to put before i start moving anymore i'm gonna move some doors into here so these doors like i think so there's something about villagers and they need to, they need a door and i think a roof i guess in order for them to consider it like a village or a town so we're gonna go ahead and put these down here to kind of emulate a village and if this works out it'll be really nice and if it doesn't i need your guys's help in the comment sections below if they don't breed where did the villagers go okay they're over there i was about to freak out i was like did i lose them already oh my gosh that would have been terrible all right just make sure i'm really hoping that nothing spawns in here or around this area so we're gonna try to just like super torch everything here so nothing spawns. I'm so scared that something's just going to jump in here and kill my villagers. That I worked so hard for these villagers, and if they all died, I would just cry. So there we go. Um, all right, I think that's it. So I've got my little thing over here. Got my little prisoner cage. I'm going to go ahead and move two more on camera. Give you guys some funny commentary, or I'll try to at least. And then I guess I will do the rest off of camera. Because I thought this was going to be a lot more frustrating. Because the first time... I was moving villagers, I was like crying because some of them were dying, some of them weren't cooperating very well, and then it just wasn't a good, it wasn't, wow, he just ran away from, where did he go? Where did that guy go? What the heck was that? He just ran like super fast, like that was a, that was a Superman speed fast, what the heck? Alright, we'll go ahead, I need to mine this block, I guess, and place a minecart here. No! 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 Stay. I need to get one of you villagers in here. Get in there. Yes! Boom. There we go. There goes another one. So, go ahead up here. No, no, no. Don't come up here. Alright. Let's go, villager. I'm a strong pusher. Did you guys... It, like, travels so far with one push. 
on uh, those like little sloped accents or whatever you want to call it. There we go. We got three so far. This is a lot easier than I expected. Now, okay, so this is what I wanted your guys' help on. This is kind of what I need comments on. Oops, I hit him. Um, so in a villager village, I'm not sure how it works in 1.8, guys. So don't yell at me if I'm doing this wrong or if I'm if my concept is wrong. But uh, in a 1.8 village, what do I need exactly uh, for the villagers to start to breed? If you guys could help me out with that a little bit, uh, do some research for me and then leave it in the comment sections below. So um, some per some person in the last video, they told me that we need an air block or an airspace. So I did that for this one and they started to breed for a little bit. But uh, they eventually, I guess there was too many in this one closed area and they eventually stopped breeding. Oh, no, 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 no. Get over there. All right, let's get this villager in here. Oh, my gosh. They are just not working with me today. Go. Stay over there. There we go. All right. Connect that. And so, yeah, I need your guys' help a little bit here. Uh, let me know in the comment sections below exactly what I need to do and the things that I need to make sure are there in order for a villager a spawner to breed and to spawn some iron golem so i eventually want to make this this iron this uh villager farm here into like a huge iron golem ingot uh grinder farm where they continuously make iron golems and then um i obviously take the iron golems and uh make them into iron ingots and whatnot so i need your guys's help for that so if you guys have any ideas on what i need to do in order to make sure that my villagers breed in 1.8 remember guys we're on the snapshots we're playing in the 1.8 snapshots it works a lot differently from 1.7 so uh if you guys could help me out with that i would truly truly appreciate it and uh we're gonna go ahead and continue uh with uh one more let's do one more on camera and then well uh, we'll finish i'll finish off the rest in the end and then after that we can uh go ahead and head on our merry way Oh my gosh, I can't even get any of these guys on here. Alright, let's push you. Let's push this in here. Get one of you guys. One of you fellas in here. Alright, I need to take this door out because they are just... They are just freaking staying on that door. Alright. Now, get in the cart. Get in the cart, you. I can get this one. No, he's running away! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the heck is that? Go, go. Oh my gosh, they're not cooperating with me today. There we go. There's one. Ha! I got you, little boy. Let's go ahead and put you back on the track. Connect that. Are they making love? They are making love. What the heck? Did they just make a baby? Did they just make a baby? Uh-oh. I can't tell. I'm not sure if they made a baby or not. They were They were making love signs over there. And I didn't even do anything. Oh, no, there's a creeper. No, 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 no. Stay over here. All right, guys, I'm going to pause this video, finish the rest of this off of camera, and we'll be right back. Guys, I have some bad news. I was moving this villager, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, three villager zombies spawned in here. And they killed, like, half of my stock already. I had, like, four in here. And now, as you guys can see, there's only two of them left, and I'm really sad right now. And this is what I'm talking about. They somehow spawned in here. And I have no idea how. I have no idea how, where they came from. I wish I was recording that. But I had to, uh, I'm out of breath right now. Oh my gosh. What the heck was that? So uh, if you guys can see here, I lured one of the zombie villagers back over here. And it's, uh, I, I threw a, a weakness potion on it. And then I gave it a golden apple. So it's going to transform back. So I'll be able to get one of them back. But I lost one. I lost a villager right there. And um, I'm assuming that they spawned, like, maybe up here somewhere. And then I guess they just walked and waltzed right into this little area here. I'm so mad right now. I knew that was going to happen. I've lost four villagers already. Well, I lost three technically because of the... Uh, because of the other thing because uh, I say I was able to save one of them But that is what I'm talking about these villagers like they they literally just make Like special mobs spawn and I need to make sure that this entire area is lit up properly And if it's not they're gonna get bombarded here with uh with uh villager zombies and whatnot So hopefully this thing transforms. I'll show you guys this transformation on camera And I still have to move the rest of the villagers So this is what I'm talking about the frustrations of working with all of these villager zombies and all of these villagers, they're just so hard to work with. 
And uh, I managed to trap one of them, and uh, I was gonna try to do the give it the weakness potion and the golden apple on camera, but I was just like, no, I have to do it before it despawns. So we got one, and uh, we're waiting for it to transform. Not really sure how long it takes. I'm pretty sure it takes like two to five minutes, so we might be here a while. And uh, you know what? While that's transforming, let's go ahead and move. I'm gonna move uh, another villager over because that might that does take a while uh, for that to be uh, for that to start actually you know uh making itself uh into a villager so how many do we have left we have one two three <gasps> they made a baby yeah we got another baby villager very very cool all right so one two three four five six we have six left in here so that's not too bad i mean it's an, it's a nice start oh my gosh why did i do that go no stop Oh, these things are so frustrating. I'm so bad right now. I can't believe I moved three of them off of camera and then the freaking stuff just killed it. And like, I was like, all my hard work just went down the drain. And I managed to save one or oh, recover one, not really save one, but I managed to recover one. Where'd it go? Yeah, there it is. All right, so we have another villager here. We'll eventually move him out of here, but uh, we'll just keep him in here for the meantime. But yeah, this is the frustrations with working with villagers guys if you guys are gonna when when we do switch over to 1.8 you guys are gonna know exactly how it feels to be so frustrated if you guys ever do play on a survival world how frustrated oh they're making more babies you know what i'm just gonna keep these here they're they're making babies fine over here i think i should just keep them here and if I keep them here, they might just continue breeding and then I'll slowly just move stuff. I'll slowly just move some out whenever I need to. I think that's what I'll do. I think that's a very uh, that's a smarter idea. I'll leave them here. I'll have two little villager breeding cells. And I think that'll work a lot more, a lot perfectly compared to if I were to move all of them back over there. Because then they would fill up a lot more quickly. So we're going to go ahead and just leave that here for now. And I think I can end the episode right here. We lost some villagers, so we're probably going to have to... Um, I'm gonna see if I can get these two villagers over here to start breeding, but uh, no, no, no promises. But we have two so far, and I kind of want to give this like a glass roof or something, just so that uh, the stuff don't get into here. But yeah, I'm gonna end the episode right here, guys. Thank you for watching. Oh, villager troubles, I hate it. Oh my gosh. But thank you guys for watching today's episode. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys hit that like button, and I need your guys' feedback, as I said in the earlier portions of the video. If you guys know exactly what it takes to make a villager breed in 1.8, other than trading, and like if they need sunlight and roofs and all that, leave it in the comment sections below, guys. I appreciate all of your help. Thank you for watching today's video. This is D-Field, and we will see you guys. Guys, late.